Hi, I'm Dr. Tarang Vora. I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon working at Apollo Hospitals Jubilee Hills. So today we're going to discuss a few frequently asked questions about how to manage a child with Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a disease uh, or it's basically a type of genetic disorder in which the child is born with one extra chromosome and that extra chromosome leads the child to have certain medical related issues ranging from heart abnormalities to intestinal abnormalities to abnormalities in the spine and intellectually the child is slightly different compared to the other children in the same age group. How do you manage a child with Down syndrome? So as doctors, we generally recommend four treatment modalities for managing a child with Down syndrome, which is consist of therapy, uh, medical management, surgical management and assistive devices. So when we look at therapy, there are three modalities of therapy that we are looking at. One is the physical therapy that the child has to undergo. Second is the occupational therapy and third is speech therapy. When we are looking at assistive devices, we basically Down syndrome children have some amount of learning disability. So assistive devices like a three-sided pencil or using a touch screen computer or using keyboard with large alphabets helps the child learn much better. Uh, the third modality is medical management. Most of these children have some amount of hypothyroidism which is covered with the medications. And if the child is having some underlying heart defect, spine abnormality or an abdominal intestinal abnormality, the child will require surgery for same. What challenges do children with Down syndrome face? So children with Down syndrome basically have most important challenge that they face is that of a learning disability. So they are unable to complete the home tasks that is uh, dressing and dressing themselves or uh, going to bathroom and coming back which takes some more effort from the parent compared to other children. The second part is the schooling part where doing the homework or writing alphabets or uh, getting up to the mark with their own peers is also slightly slower in children with Down syndrome. So these two aspects of learning disability are mostly due to the impairment in the fine motor skills that the children have. The impairment in the fine motor skills is because of the loss of tone in the muscles. They have weaker muscles. So the child is not able to use, uh, do any fine activity with his hands or limbs. So they generally do gross activities. Also their hearing and speech is somewhat involved. So basically because of poor hearing, they will not be able to grasp so much. So their auditory memory is very, very low, whereas visual memory is very nice for children with Down syndrome. See, they learn extremely well with visual illustrations and pictures. How do you motivate a child with Down syndrome? So the most important thing uh, for motivating a child with Down syndrome is about the parents being more motivated than the child. It is the effort that the parent is going to take to ensure that the child lives up to the mark to become independent when the child grows up that is what is more important. So I feel for anybody to motivate a child that, that that parent must be very well motivated and for a parent to be well motivated, uh, the parent should first of all be very much educated. So as in he must, he or she must find out more information that is available on Down syndrome and how to take care of such children with Down syndrome. So secondly, uh, we have to basically love to play with the child and spend more time with the child. You have to make short, short tasks and you have to give it to the child. Child will never un understand a complicated task. So a short task which has to be repetitively done every day is something that helps the child to motivate to improve the activity that he has to learn over a long time. The most important factor for any parent or anybody who is involved in care with a Down syndrome is having that amount of patience to deal with that kind of a baby. It will be speech therapy. What activities do children with Down syndrome enjoy? So children with Down syndrome, as I said, will love activities which involve some amount of visual involvement, as in some visual stimulus is there. Most of their activities will be watching television and watching movies. Apart from that, playing with blocks, some kind of sensory stimulation, playing with dough or making atta with mother and in the kitchen. Apart from this, they are very fond of music. So if the child, Down syndrome baby is able to play some kind of a musical instrument, that would be an activity that the child will be very fond of. Do people with Down syndrome have special talents? 
uh, every one of us has a special talent including you and me so yes children with down syndrome each and everybody is unique everybody will have a special kind of a talent which is different from somebody else one uh, pretty often seen talent is that they are able to gauge emotions of other people pretty nicely so that is one thing that sets them apart plus sometimes their creativity may be beyond what we have because their perception of the world is slightly different than what we see at how can i help my child with down syndrome in school so there are three important points that we are looking over here one is in the school the environment created by the teacher matters a lot to the child while choosing the school having a good rapport between the parent and the teacher is very very essential the first important thing is what we require for a child with down syndrome is self pacing self pacing basically means that there cannot be a fixed curriculum or a fixed exam based on which the child will be judged every child is different a self pacing curriculum is that once the child progresses on his own at his own pace he can be taught a new thing the second important thing is of course as i said visual uh, that visual memory is fantastic so teaching them with charts and visual objects will help them learning much more better and the third thing is the social opportunity to participate in all events the social interaction that the child has with different peers of his own age group is what makes the child ab child's ability to become a part of the society so giving the child the opportunity to participate in all the events that all other children are participating in also the parents taking efforts to take the child to all marriages or all functions will help the child to develop a social bond with other people which will help the child to function better in society okay so today we have seen some frequently asked questions uh, about down syndrome and i have given some tips to the parents about how you should manage your child i really feel that having a good environment and a good understanding with the teacher to manage the child is very necessary the teacher the doctor the parent they all play a fantastic role in managing the child create social awareness for down syndrome and your child will benefit for it thank you